Hello, good morning friends. Today we will continue our science material and today we will study unit 4 adaptations for survival. Okay, Miss Vina will divide this unit into two parts. Okay, so for the first time we will learn the part 1 that is adaptation for survival. Okay, from page 49 until 55. Okay, are you ready friends? Okay, so let's uh, study together. Okay. The place where an organism lives is its habitat. Okay, so the place where organism lives, okay, the place is called its habitat. Adaptations are the features of, uh, sorry, adaptations are features an organism has that help it to survive. Okay, so uh, what is adaptation? Okay. Adaptations are the features an organism has that help it to survive. Jadi adaptasi adalah ciri-ciri yang dimiliki makhluk hidup yang membantunya untuk bertahan hidup. Organism that are well adapted are able to, okay, number one, get food, water, and light. Number two, protect themselves from enemies. And then number three, survive in wet or dry places. Types of adaptation. Okay, the first one is structural behavior adaptations. That is part of the organisms that help it to survive. So structural behavior adaptation means um, bagian tubuh yang dimiliki oleh makhluk hidup untuk bertahan hidup. Jadi fisik ya bagian tubuh makhluk hidup. For example, the body shape of a dolphin allows it to move fast enough through the water. Okay, so let's take a look at the picture here. Okay, and then the bear has fur to keep it warm. Okay, number two is behavioral adaptations. That is the ways an organism behaves to survive. Okay, so behavioral adaptation is tingkah laku yang dilakukan hewan okay, untuk bertahan hidup. For example, the clownfish hides in a sea anemone when there is danger. Okay, so the fish will hide if there is danger. Okay, di, uh, ikannya akan bersembunyi di tumbuhan-tumbuhan uh, laut ketika ada bahaya. Okay, and then the monkey is on on the lookout for danger. Okay, the monkey knows that there is a danger here. Okay, and then adaptation for life in water. Organisms that live in water have different adaptation for breathing and moving from land animals. Okay, breathing in water. Okay, the first one is blow holes. Water water mammals such as whales and dolphins breathe through the blow hole on the top of their heads. This allows them to breathe when most of the body is underwater and only the blowhole is above the surface. Okay, so you can take a look at the picture here, blowhole here. Okay, so uh, the water mammal such as whales use the blowhole to breathe. Okay, skin. Amphibians such as the frog can live out of the water use the skin to breathe. Okay, the skin must be wet all the time. So, the frog breathes through the skin. Okay, and then gills. Most of animals have gills such as fish, shrimps, and tadpoles. When water moves over the gills, oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out. Okay, air bubbles. The water beetle and the water boatman swim underwater to get food. So they use hairs on their bodies to trap air bubbles. Okay, they will breathe this air when under the water. Okay, the number four is air tubes. The larva and nymphs of mosquitoes live in water. They breathe air through the air tubes that stick out above the water surface okay so you can take a look at here okay this is the air tube the air tube the air tube okay okay moving in water animals need to move to find food and to escape from enemies 
A shape that allows for easy movement in water and air is said to be streamlined. Okay, how are animals that live in water adapted to movement? Okay, for example, a shark has streamlined body to move quickly. Okay, streamlined body. Okay, shark have fins and a tail to move in water. Okay, seals and turtles use flippers to move in water. Okay, use flippers. Okay, this is the rear flippers, and this is the these are so these are side flippers. Okay, and then ducks and penguins have web feet to help them to move in water and on land. Web feet is like this. Okay. Number three, adaptation for flying. Some animals fly. Most birds, some insects, and bats fly. All flying animals have wings and are usually light in weight. Okay, jadi biasanya uh, hewan yang bisa terbang itu beratnya ringan. Birds are the only animals with feathers. Feathers keep birds warm and also light. Birds have bones that are hollow but strong. Feathers and hollow bones reduce the bird's weight to make flying easier. Okay. Some birds do not fly. For example, chickens, penguins, and ostrich. These birds have small wings or bodies that are heavy. So, these animals cannot fly because they only have small wings and their bodies are heavy. Okay, friends. And for the task, you can do the task that Ms. Vina will make on Google Form. And don't forget to submit. If you still have any question, you can ask Ms. Vina. Okay, friends. See you next time.